Black holes always wear clothes so that the singularity is never naked. Rather, it's protected by an event horizon, the cosmological point of no return. If you want to see one bare, you'll have to take a one-way trip. At least, so long as the cosmic censorship hypothesis holds. When a large enough object gravitationally collapses under its own weight, one of two things might happen. A black hole forms, or a naked singularity forms. In the former case, before the matter reaches infinite density, an event horizon forms, covering the singularity from being seen from the outside. Alternatively, the matter might fully collapse to a region of infinite density before the event horizon forms. In that case, we have a, at least temporary, naked singularity. A singularity that can be seen from the outside. And that is bad. Naked singularities pose a problem for classical general relativity because they imply a breakdown of predictability. As you may already know, in a gravitational singularity, the space-time curvature is infinite. As the curvature of space-time affects the motion of objects, the trajectory of an object passing through a singularity would be unpredictably affected, as the equations would break down. Now, that's not a problem for a censored singularity, as anything that reaches it is hidden behind an event horizon anyway. It can't leave and affect the rest of us. But if a singularity is naked, the object with unpredictable motion can leave the singularity and mess with everything else that we would like to be able to predict. So the unpredictability leaks out of the singularity, ruining the usefulness of general relativity as a whole. So that's where the cosmic censorship hypothesis comes in. Roughly, the hypothesis is that every singularity in a physically reasonable spacetime is censored by an event horizon. If this is true, it means general relativity is reliable. And for what it's worth, we have good reason to think it's true, because no naked singularity has ever been observed. Furthermore, as established in my video on extremal black holes just a few days ago, it seems impossible to remove the event horizon from a black hole. But we don't have definitive proof that the hypothesis holds. And so, this is an active area of research, and it may require a quantum theory of gravity to resolve, so stay tuned. Maybe our universe is safe after all.